Hi folks, John Mark here with Catalyst Connect. Let's go over getting started with the Climb Portal plugin for WordPress. Here we are in a Zoho account, and one of the first steps you need to do is make sure that your Zoho environment is all set up and ready for the plugin. Now to do that, we have to first set up the CRM. The CRM is the base application that everything ties back to. A user in the client portal will be a contact record in the CRM. And we need to make sure that all of the other Zoho apps are configured and connected or synced with the CRM to best support all of the functionality that the portal has to offer. So step one, we're gonna come here to the setup screen. You're gonna go to the Zoho uh, marketplace and you need to make sure that you have synced Zoho projects with the CRM, desk, and the finance suite uh, as well. Uh, this is going to make sure that uh, we have our contact syncing between these apps and that that data will be available in the portal as everything rolls up through the contact record and account record here in the CRM. So once you have those applications set up and synced with the CRM, we're then going to install a couple of extensions in the marketplace to connect some of the other apps. So we're gonna head over to all. And over here in the search area, uh, you're gonna search for Zoho Sign. Um, the extension that you want to install here is going to be so signed for CRM. It's going to uh, add a few new modules to the CRM to show Zoho signed documents as they relate to our contacts and accounts. Uh, once that is configured, you are going to then also install the work drive extension the Zoho work drive for CRM. This is an extension that automatically creates a root folder for each new account that is created in the CRM. A corresponding root folder account is created in work drive. And uh, we're gonna need that to uh, make sure that we're syncing the correct root folder for each of our users in the portal. Once we have uh, those two extensions installed, we are then going to install the client portal plugin for WordPress extension. Once again, you can just go over here You'll go ahead and install that. Once installed, the extension is going to prompt you to put in your portal registration URL. Uh, when you set this up initially, you don't have to put in the URL. We'll come back to that in a sec because there are going to be some URL parameters that we're gonna to wanna to enter to streamline the signup process. Uh, what happens with this extension is a few different components are installed. We have in the contacts module, a few different fields, uh, including the last login date, some auto approvals, a portal invitation sent date field. We have a button uh, to invite a user, an email template that you can work off of, and um, we'll go over that process here in a sec. So these are the components that are installed with the contact. They may change depending on the version as we continue to improve the uh, plugin. We're also gonna install a couple of web tabs here. One is going to be some uh, setup instructions. The other is going to be a dashboard where you can monitor your API calls. To log into this dashboard over here, you will log in with your email that you registered for the plugin and your password is your license key. And then again, this template over here is going to be the template to invite a user to the portal. So we're gonna go ahead and click on our contact records. And uh, if we go in and look at Spider-Man over here, we can see that we have this button, invite to portal. When that button is clicked, what the extension does is it updates two fields, this auto approve checkbox and the portal invitation sent date field. When this is updated, a workflow rule is triggered in Zoho to send an email template to the user inviting them to the portal. That email template can be found over here under workflow rules. If you filter by contacts, we can see here invite user, uh, portal user. And uh, you can configure your own actions if you don't like the default template that was used and the standard one that comes with the plugin. Just go ahead and create your own workflow rule. To do that, you just hit this create workflow rule. You'll create it for the contacts module and the trigger is gonna be on a field update. And that field update will be 
when that portal invitation sent is updated. This is going to give you the most flexibility, so I recommend you set up your own workflow rule to trigger that portal invitation email. Uh, once this executes, uh, meaning that that button is clicked to invite the user to the portal, that date field is updated, it will trigger this workflow rule that can then trigger an email notification to invite the user to the portal. So this email notification, again, you can configure your own, and I recommend it to give you the most flexibility with your invitation. Uh, you will invite the uh, contact email as the recipient. And the template that you use, you can develop your own template. I'm going to go ahead and open up this portal invitation. and. Uh, to configure this template, you're simply going to go to your setup and then under customization, click email templates and you'll create the email template for the contact record. So let's go ahead and take a peek at that. Um, once again, you will then uh, finish this uh, instant action with the email notification and click save and that's going to send out that invitation. Now to customize that email, you're going to go over here to the setup, customization and templates. And we're going to see here we have the uh, user portal invitation. The way that I recommend you configure the invitation is to follow this uh, URL structure. Um, I, this particular code over here is going to be available in the help documentation, so please look out for it if you would like to copy and paste this uh, format for the registration URL. Uh, this initial piece over here is going to be the URL that you put in on the configuration page of the plugin. And let's hop to that right now so you know what I'm talking about. If we go here to our extensions, that initial URL that pops up in this configuration screen is what gets pulled in with this piece of code right over here. So you want to um, put in, sorry, it's before that slash. So this piece over here will automatically populate the URL that you put in over here. This is the page that the short code for the plugin gets configured. So when you are configuring the plugin in WordPress and you install to the uh, plugin short code on a page, in this case the page is called client portal. So we're going to put that in as the portal registration URL or the main page that the client portal is configured on. So that gets dynamically inputted over there and then this piece of code right here is going to automatically bring in some of the data from that contact record. Specifically, it's going to bring in their email, their first name, as well as their last name. And this is going to pre-fill out some hidden fields on the user registration form on your website. That email address that is auto-approved on a contact record over here tells the system to automatically allow the registration for an active contact in your system that has this auto approve selected. So this URL over here is going to dramatically improve your efficiency for inviting users because as you click this button to invite them to the portal, once again, a function will run to auto approve them, update the portal invitation sent date, which then triggers the workflow rule that you'll need to configure to then send this email template. It brings in the user's information into the URL parameters. And then when that user clicks on this link, they're going to be prompted to enter their password and they'll automatically be registered in the uh, portal as a user. I hope this helps and please give us a shout if you have any questions. Thanks a lot. Cheers.